All right, we're rolling. So I'm here with Deep and Alex, and we are at Viceroy Palace. Look at that. It's stunning. It's um, it's designed by Lutyens, Edwin Sir Edwin Lutyens, in the uh, 19th century, and it represents the height of the British Empire. And the architecture is intense in the sense that, you know, it's so grand and. Uh, it uses a lot of classical elements, but also respects the indigenous culture of India. The colors are are just beautiful, you know, the beige and also the reddish stone. Um, the detailing is stunning. It's, it's absolutely stunning and uh, it's affected a lot of the postmodernists, including people like Michael Graves, my, 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 my mentor. And you can see that the gate is like Kensington Palace, and but then behind that you've got all these uh, elements, like or, or, or next to it, the elephants and also the lion at the top representing England. Uh, I can see there's a very special star. I, I can't remember the name of that four, the four, the cross, the cross star. It, I thought it also represents something. So this is where you know the the the, the top guy lives and uh, controlling the entire nation where under the British rule. Uh, if you go look at the back, if you, if you go back. Turn, turn, around, turn, turn around. around. I believe these are government houses, okay? Which are uh, modeled after Greenwich um, because of the, of the domes. Uh, very similar to Gr Greenwich in, uh, in London. Lutyens is very good at uh, doing, uh, you know, he exacerbates the scale. So tiny, um, uh, uh, turrets, I will call them, from the the Mughal sort of like architecture, and the large dome um, coming from classical architecture from Rome, uh, the Greco-Roman tradition, and the way he has mishmashed all these styles it, to us uh, is fascinating, and the way that he's trying to connect the different cultures. Yeah. Of course, it was very colonial at the same time, and empirical, um, empire-like, but. Um, you have to go back and understand what they were trying to do, but it, it, I think after all these years, you look look at it, and it, it's just a fascinating piece of um, cross-cultural creation. Yeah, uh, like the first time I saw it, it doesn't. I looked at it, I thought this looks Greek or Roman. It doesn't look. It doesn't look Indian. Yeah, but if you look at it carefully, there's a lot of Indian elements already infused into it. But of course, you know, because culture is also uh, a, a battle. It's also um, um, a, a kind of warfare. And under the British rule, India, the Indian culture was also subs obviously subservient to the British or the European, the Greco-Roman tradition. So why don't we look at that arch at the, at the end? We have to go through that arch. It's absolutely stunning, the arch. You know, and, and that axis is like. Cool, all right. So I'm going to cut here and we're yeah. going to have a look when we're at the arch. <laughs> 